Hey YouTube, this is IBA, and today I have a jailbreak for you guys, and it is for the Verizon wireless iPhone. So here it is, Verizon up top, there you go, and let me just go to settings and show you guys that I am running 4.2.6, which is what jailbreaks. So there's Verizon, and there's the version 4.2.6, alright. So, uh, that is the version that we're going to be jailbreaking today. And Green Poison, the new Green Poison update, which jailbreak, which jailbroke all of your iOS 4.2.1 devices, can now jailbreak this iPhone. So you just download the program and open it up and click on Prepare to Jailbreak. And here we go. It's going to ask me to hold down the Home button, I mean the uh, Power button. And now I'm holding down both for 10 seconds. And it's about to ask me to let go of the power button and keep holding the home button. Alright, so I'm still holding the home button for 12 more seconds. And you can let go. Alright, now you just scroll over here, hit jailbreak. Alright, and it should just jailbreak on the device. Alright guys, you'll start seeing this uh, scrolling text on your device and it will be jailbreaking on your computer and that just lets you know that it's working. Alright, this is kind of a slow jailbreak, but, you know, it does what it's got to do, so uh, eventually it will be done. And this jailbreak is available for Mac and PC users. I'm obviously doing it on PC, but it is available for Mac. And this is for the Verizon iPhone running 4.2.6 only at the moment. So yeah, and then the jailbreak is called Green Poison RC5, and it's beta 4 that allows us to do this, so it's pretty cool. And uh, with this jailbreak comes a readme file, I'll just show you guys. And these are the supported devices, which Green Poison uh, beta 4 will jailbreak these too, but it also supports the Verizon iPhone 4. So it's pretty nice, and uh, if you just go down a little bit here um, you can just tell you how to check and see if your device is on that certain iOS and uh, you just must have like a working internet connection and all that good stuff so pretty cool stuff and also if you guys are trying to jailbreak 4.2.1 and somehow you got to this video uh, you can actually just jailbreak over the tethered 4.2.1 jailbreak that you have. So that's uh, a very nice addition that they made to this jailbreak. And mine just kind of has some scrolling text on it and all that good stuff. And this is, of course, all very normal. And uh, you can go ahead and click quit on Green Poison whenever the scrolling text goes away but for now I would just leave it on just for alright and there's the uh, custom boot logo and my device should be booting up here soon and you can go ahead and uh, click quit and then now it's booting up alright so it's probably successfully jailbroken and I'll just show you guys how to update the uh, city and all that good stuff or not really update but download it uh, you're gonna get a loader app on your device and that's what allows you to do that okay guys sorry for the little jump in the video but uh, my camera actually ran out of memory so uh, but mine is done and you just go ahead and unlock it and then you're going to see this loader app tap on that and it will just load sources so now you can just download Cydia hit install and when it's 100% done, it'll probably just respring. Alright guys, so while that is going on, I would go into your settings and make sure that you have it to where your device will not go dark and then go blank because I believe that the download will uh, be affected by that. So once it's done and it says it's successful, hit the home button, it'll respring and uh, mine is just booting right back up. Alright guys, so it is finished and slide to unlock and just open up Cydia 
and it will do what it needs to do as well. Alright, so I finished doing that, and it will quit out of Cydia, and you can just go back in, and Cydia should be working. I would choose Developer right here because it gives you all the options. Then hit Done, and it will upload and download and do all these things, but here is Cydia. And I will give you guys a quick little uh, rundown about it, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Alright, and after it's done with that, it will just reload the data, and you should be able to roam around. And here we go. I would just go ahead and do the complete upgrade, and then these are all the things it's going to install. Go ahead and click on confirm, and this is what it will look like when you download packages. And I guess I'll just show you guys so you guys can know. And City is actually really slow at the moment just because of all the traffic that's on it. Like, there's just so much traffic. And, uh, yeah. So this is what it looks like. It just downloads each thing that it asked you to uh, download. And soon you'll see, like, all the scrolling text, kind of like you saw when it was jailbreaking. And while we're waiting, I guess I'll go ahead and take this time to uh, say that, oh, I don't know if I even told you guys if this is untethered or not, but this is untethered um, for you new Verizon iPhone owners and jailbreaking, like new to jailbreaking, um, untethered and tethered. Tethered is where you jailbreak it, but when it's tethered, you have to turn off, anytime you turn off your device or it reboots, like right here, if I had to click reboot on a tethered device, I would have to re-jailbreak it. But since this is untethered, you don't have to. So it's really nice to have untethered jailbreaks. So uh, just tap on whatever the thing asks you to do whenever you download a new package, and it will do what it needs to do. Now, if it is a tethered jailbreak, you got to re-jailbreak. But this is completely untethered, and it's very nice. So, And then also, um, go ahead and subscribe up top. And uh, that just lets you guys know whenever I release new videos, um, I will have many, many awesome tweaks, themes, anything to do with this Verizon iPhone and regular iPhones and iPod Touches, so and in the future iPads. So yeah, just subscribe up top, uh, favorite the video, thumbs it up. That really helps out um, the person that makes the videos and uh, helps their channel develop very nicely. All right, so that's pretty much it for that little upgrade it had me do and now I can give you guys a little tour. Alright, so here's the home page. You have featured packages right here. And these are just really popular packages that a lot of people download. I'm not gonna let it load because like I said it is being really slow and lame today. This is a new theme section that they added and you can uh, sort between high definition and standard definition themes and uh, that's pretty nice. And then if you go right here to manage account, I'm just going to log in so I can show you guys what it does. Go to sign in with Google. And then you're just going to type in your account information. Alright, since this is a new device, I had to link my device to this account. And then now you just go to installable purchases if you've purchased anything on a previous iPhone or iPod Touch. And you should be able to uh, purchase them and put them on here. So it's pretty, pretty cool. Alright, so that's that section. If you go over here to the section part, you can just sort this by uh, themes and just tweaks and all that good stuff. The changes section is when you click refresh, it has that black bar and it will refresh a lot of stuff. So, uh, yeah. And this will be any updates that you have right here or recent changes to repos. Now, repos or sources give you access to more packages, more themes, and whenever you watch my videos and I tell you to add a source, you're going to go to Manage Tab, Sources, then go to Edit and Add, and you will add a source, kind of like, uh, we'll do Cydia.xlis.com, and this one is kind of a popular one, then you just go to Add Source, it will verify the URL, and it will go ahead and download all the packages that it's needed. Alright, and as you can see, I have a new source right there. The one that I told you guys to add. And it just has all of these packages in it. Like, this one especially has so many. And it's just, it's just insane. So, 
Alright, and then you can go back to the Manage tab and go into Packages, and this is where you can uh, reinstall and remove packages that you have downloaded. And then you can go over here to Source, I mean, not Source, Search, and you can type in anything that you want, and it will search for packages as long as they are in Cydia. Alright, now if you guys don't want this loader icon right here, just tap on it, let it load really quick, and then go to Options, Remove Loader.app, hit the Home button, and it will respring. And then once it's done, you just slide to unlock, and you are set to go. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial of how to jailbreak your brand new Verizon iPhone running iOS 4.2.6. If you guys have any questions, just comment down below, thumbs up the video, and subscribe up top. I have a Twitter, so go ahead and follow me on that if you guys have Twitter, and like my Facebook fan page down below. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and peace.